Hi everyone, this is Dr. Badal here. In this video, I am going to tell you the biggest secret to crack any competitive exam. Everyone who is preparing for competitive exam have different strategies. But these three secrets should always be there in your strategy. And uh, these are very essential to crack the competitive exams. And the most important thing is the toppers will not tell you this secret ever. You know, when you talk to toppers, they tell you the strategy that sounds uh, very difficult to follow and uh, it requires a very hard work and we think that topper did that hard work but you know toppers always do smart work and the secret i'm going to tell you is the smartest thing to do to crack any competitive exams one more thing this secret may sound familiar to you and you might think that i already knew this secret the thing is everyone knows what is essential to crack the exam but how to do it that makes the difference so please watch the video till the end i will tell you each and everything about the secret the secret number one is revision now everyone knows that we need revision and everyone does it but why there are a many difference in the ranking why there is a difference in the marks even the student who revised the notes for five to six times is not able to score a good rank but the one who revised for three to four times can score a much better rank so why is there this difference everyone knows that we need to revise things but i will tell you how to do it first of all with every read you have to decrease the content of the notes or the study material let's suppose if you read 100 pages of a subject in the next read it should be always 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 60 to 70 pages and in the third read it should be always less than 50 pages so now how to filter or decrease the content you can do this by two ways number one while reading for the first time you make a habit of marking the topics you have to mark the topics which are very much important other than that you have to mark the topics which are difficult to you and you have to mark the topics which you often forget or which are hard to remember so with this filter you will definitely decrease about 30 percent of your study material and this is i'm talking about the second read during the third read you have to again filter the content that you have made in the second read that is the topics which were difficult for you to understand you have to now during the second read make them clear and then get rid of them you know you can write down the page number at the back of your book which you need to revise and next time when you open that book, read only the page numbers that are written by you at the back of the book. No need to read the whole book again. Or else you can create or make your own separate revision book which will contain each and every topic that you find difficult or that are important. And towards the end, you only have to read that book. Depending on the number of subjects your examination demands, the revision book can be 2, 3 or 4 but I am sure the revision book will be the most important thing you could ever get during your preparation. Talking about secret number 2. The second secret is previous year paper. Yes, 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 you know that you have to do it but how to make a lot out of them? Here is how I am going to tell you. You have to take out one day of your preparation and sit down and write down all the topics that were asked in last five years you will notice one thing there are about 50 to 60 percent topics that are always asked and 60 percent of all those five papers will be made up of that topics only these are the topics that are asked every year no matter what is the pattern of the paper no matter which type of question are going to be asked but they will be from those topics only and you have to master that 60% topics in the next paper the paper will be from those topics only although the questions will be new so you do not need to mug up the previous year papers or the previous year questions but you have to mug up that topic you have to master that topic and be prepared for any question from that topic and one thing you will always notice is that the toppers of any examination they do not make a single question wrong from these 60% topics they have all the questions correct 
and whatever additional mark they score from the 30 uh, 40% remaining questions is what decide their rank your hard work your study material your confidence and your concept will decide the remaining 40% so before running behind the 40% make sure that you can score 60% of the questions correctly always 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 master them first then go for the remaining 40% because no one can guess what those 40% paper will be they can be your favorite topics or they cannot be no one can tell you so run behind the 60% questions not behind the remaining 40% now talking about the third secret it is proper planning and proper discipline you know there is one thing common in all the toppers and that is discipline you will ask them what you are going to do after 3 months they have the answer they can precisely tell you that they are going to be doing the revision after 3 months and also they can tell you what they are going to read one month before the examination so this is possible because of the planning and proper implementation you have to create a proper plan the plan should not be very much impossible to achieve and not very much easy to achieve you should always assign the number of days to a particular subject according to your capacity if the subject is big and it takes time to read then assign the days to it accordingly do not overdo things or do not underdo things with proper planning you today itself will know that how much revision you can do before the exam only thing you need to do is just stick to your plan you have to keep some extra days between every 10 days to clear the backlog keeping two days extra or one day extra between your plan will help you to clear the backlog and will also relax you a little if you do not have any backlog you cannot read every day with the same efficiency and there are some days when you do not feel like reading on that day do not feel weak or depressed replace the extra day with that day and continue with your plan with this you can achieve everything you have planned for so that was it for the video guys if you found this video helpful feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video